Okay, so I thought I would pick up the camera today. It's the end of April now, and I've not picked up the camera all month. It's been a hectic month. So I finally got around to cutting out the Tilling the Buttons Erin dungarees pattern. And I have a few thoughts so far. This is my first Tilling the Buttons pattern. I'm still new to, relatively new to clothes sewing and relatively new to printing patterns at home. So I really, really struggled with this. Um, I think I misread the instructions on what pattern pieces to cut out. So I ended up missing a whole row of patterns. And I was wondering why I struggled so much. So I've made some dungarees and some shorts for my son with three patterns. Um, you can see what I made in my last vlog. And so the patterns that I've used so far have come with this diagram of how to assemble your pieces. So when I look at this pattern, I know I don't need to um, join this piece to this piece because this is a separate piece to this. So I can just join these pieces here, join these pieces here. Um, so I'm not worrying. So I'm not sure what the best way of assembling patterns is. So I go row by row like this and then a lot of time all my pieces end up being slightly out so if these match up perfectly these might not match up but if I have this I can then go okay I can match these up perfectly um, and then cut this out and then I will then match these pieces up because they're separate pieces. This pattern didn't come with that and so I'm a very visual person so I ended up having to print off the whole pattern to see um, where I needed to cut to what pieces I actually need. So this is the line for, I'm making the short version, not the full length or the cropped. So if I do make this again in a longer version, I will print off the whole pattern and recut it. Um, so I know there's certain pages that didn't actually need to be stuck together, which then makes my lineup of all my pattern pieces a lot more accurate if I don't have to do that. Um, so, so far that's my only sort of criticism and I think that's because I lack experience. Um, so I think maybe further on down the line I'd be like, yeah, this doesn't matter, I know what I'm doing, blah blah blah. But I think for a newbie, I got really, really frustrated and really annoyed. Like I spent a lot of money on this pattern because I want to print it off in different sizes, like depending on my weight fluctuations and fit, you know, it's, there's quite a lot of ease in this. Whereas I think maybe I want something a bit more fitted on my bum or something a bit looser. Uh, if it's say winter, depending on the time of year, depending on the fabric, um, which is why I like the print at home. But yeah, it's finally cut out and we'll just see where we go from here. But this, this kind of thing, so this here as well, I need this. Like it, it's really, really helps me. So if I know like there's say, there's options in a pattern. I might not need to print off a page. So the Bunny Bottoms by Apple Tree Designs, Apple Tree, I'll link her in the, the description box. She has an overview. So I know if whatever version I'm making, there's certain pieces I don't need to print off or I don't need to stick together, etc., etc. So I hope this comes together really well, but I'm a bit nervous, we'll see. I'll come back once all my pattern pieces are cut out, I think. I am not matching up seams, like I'm not matching up designs. Like if my llama is cut off in the middle, so be it. I'm not at that stage yet where I want all my uh, bits of fabric to the pattern to match up, the design to match up. So yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, it's Sunday the 29th of May and I wanted to make this when the pattern got released, this is the Tilly and the Buttons Erin um, shorts romper. And I just haven't, basically. And I think my sewing mojo has just come back. I've just finished my Ginkgo shirt, um, which I actually like. So I got the duvet cover and I unfolded it and I didn't realise that it's actually two different patterns. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just cut the two pieces of fabric away from each other and then I'll see what, how much I have 
and see what I can get from just one of the designs because I think the little glasses would look good on a romper and then I think the big glasses I think will look good as another uh, ginkgo shirt we'll see if we have enough fabric because I'd like to do like a hacked version of this um, so can I complete this for the Jubilee and then I can wear my makes out and be like aha uh -huh, I made this we will see and you guys will see as well if I ever get a video up who knows let's get cracking I've got about 10 minutes before my boy wakes up I have my wearable toil on now and yeah just thought I'd have a chat about it so I think it's quite loose at the moment so I made the version with the ties that go through the buttonholes so you can make it as loose like long on your body or short so if I just tie this up a bit and see what it looks like so I bought this pattern on the day that it released I was super excited and then I bought the digital version because I like to cut out different sizes and I cut out the size 6 in this but my bust is about 39 at the moment Yeah, 38 and a half, 38, and my hips, the widest point in the hips, uh, about 40, about 44. So 39 and 44, and my waist for these doesn't really matter, which is why I cut out the size 6. And so I printed off the pattern, and I printed off the pages just for shorts only, and immediately I hit problems. I don't know if I didn't print out the right pages, or I got confused but I could not piece this together without every single sheet of paper. So I'm still new to sewing, so I've only ever made sort of the big four like New Look McCall's, made those patterns which obviously come in the packets and you just simply print them out. Or I made a few patterns from free to print, so I made the uh, ginkgo shirt and I've made a few other things from free patterns. and. I thought all sort of indie patterns are the same where it's one every page is numbered so I make stuff for my son and every page is numbered so I can see that if I don't want to make the extra large size I can skip out certain pages which is what the Tillion Buttons tried to do is so if you don't want to make the full length version only print these pages but I'm such a visual person that I needed that diagram I'll show you here I needed that diagram to show to know what pages I had to print, I could look at the image then and go, okay, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to print, and I couldn't find that. If it's there, as my my bad, I could, but I couldn't see it. So I did end up printing everything out, and then obviously if you're printing at home, it's a pain in the ass sticking it together. There's no getting around that. So immediately that put me off making it straight away. I was just like. Because I even went and bought fabric straight away, I was so excited. I was like, this is great, you know, everyone makes her patterns like straight away, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be so good. And I then hit a problem straight away, and I was like, ugh. So then just sat for ages. So then I bought um, an old duvet from a charity shop, and I thought, I'll make up a proper tar. Because the fabric I have, the llama fabric and the cactus fabric, I want. I want it to be good, I want it to be nice, I want it to be something I actually reach for and actually wear. You know, I'm on a mission to try and build a wardrobe that I love and wear. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's so happy on the floor. So I, I finally got around to making them up and this is the fit. Um, I think I could get to being at least six, seven months pregnant in these at the moment. Um, I think the bum fits okay. Uh, the legs. I need, and they're too small, they're too, when I bend down it sort of digs in because there's no stretch in the fabric, I need to make it bigger, so my denim dungarees I think is kind of the vibe I'm going for, so I do need wider, wider legs, wider, and I kind of want to pull this in I think, 
because it's just, I don't know, I don't like this area, I really don't like this area. I don't know if I put some pins in and bring it in a bit. Will that make it a bit better? What do you think? I'll just get the pins in. So if I just bring it in, like, that's quite, I'm going to like four inches off the waist. Is that a bit better? So yeah, this bit, I just, I don't know, I, ju I just feel, ugh. And I hate that feeling. I feel that enough about myself as it is without clothes adding to it. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I don't know how to fix it. I think I might try and look at pattern grading and then go from there. But with this version, what I'm probably going to do is um, just overlock this seam going from zero to, I think, maybe two and a half inches just to bring this in. Um, on either side so then I know what to do with the pattern pockets are really big I can fit my Samsung Galaxy in no problem but when I bend over the phone hits me in my tummy um, so that's a bit annoying um, so I'd like I think I'd like the pockets on the side like traditional dungarees um, I also don't I think it just makes this look I mean what what is this space? It's like I could have like a whole little a pooch. I could store a freaking baby down here, man. Like I'm not on my belly. I think that's fine. But I I had a C-section, but I don't have a massive belly hanging over. You know, I have a small belly. So um, this this is weird. I feel it makes me look more frumpy. So I don't know if I remove the pockets and sort of. Brought, brought the shorts up a bit and brought the waist in a bit and there's no getting away from the fact that I do have a belly but at least now you can sort of see where it actually starts instead of being like what what is this so I don't like the the join here I'd rather it be one side so like cut from the shorts all the way up the bib so one front piece one back piece um, but I do like the the instructions. There was this YouTube instructional videos, freaking amazing, man! Step by step guide. So if any like if you're confused with any step, there's a video there, and it really breaks it down. I think every single clothes pattern should come with an associated video because for those of us who reads instructions and go, I think it's all English, but I don't I don't care what it's saying. Having a video going, okay, okay that's what it means that's what that term means and then for me it helps me make those connections in my head so we'll we'll see i think i feel, do feel like i've wasted my money on this because I ca it's not a pattern i'm going to jump back to um there's a pattern in the magazine simply sewing i think a few months ago i bought the magazine for the pattern unfortunately it's, it's double-sided Instead of printing, say, like the first five sizes on one sheet of paper and then the next sizes on another sheet of paper, they've double sided it. Um, so, again, I feel like I just got robbed of my money because I, I don't pattern trace, so it's not a skill I have, and uh, so not, I don't have time to go and fucking pattern trace, you know. I want to just, if I'm getting a magazine, I'm buying it for the pattern and I want to use that pattern, I want to cut it out at my size and go from there, you know. If I need to make a bigger size, I can just add on the allowance. So I was pretty pissed off at that. Um, I'm gonna try and trace it because I, I spent freaking eight quid on the magazine. I don't have to go in there and buy the pattern for however much it is. Just just have two copies of it, you know? So um, I was a bit annoyed that I won't buy that magazine again, really. Um, I 100% agree patterns should be size inclusive. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying is the Simply Sewing should print the patterns onto separate A0 sheets of paper. They're just they're just saving money. It's all about the profit, isn't it? Let's let's not beat around the bush here. No one they don't make a magazine for the fun of it. They do it for money, 
um, and they've shown their colours by not printing on two separate sheets of paper, which loads of other patterns do, you know. Um, even this, this is a simplicity pattern, um, not a great pattern um, cause for, for my body shape, but one size was on it, the two sizes, the two size ranges were printed separately on the bits of tissue paper. So, and that came with a magazine, most of my patterns came with a magazine, so that, that is my rant of the day. Ugh. The craft room needs a serious, serious tidy, but... So, here is the scenes. I overlocked everything where I could. I do think the pockets add to the frumpiness a little bit and this is probably the wrong way to try and get the fit right I'm well aware of that but you know it's a tile the thing the duvet cover cost me a few quid so I'm not losing any money here but I lost money in the pattern but... so I'm gonna say Two and a half inches at the top. We'll go a little bit. Cons Let's go two inches first, and then go to zero down here. This is gonna be the moment of truth. It's either gonna be a disaster or it's gonna be oh my god, amazing. The pockets definitely have to go though. This is on back to front. Good start, good start. Uh, maybe this is why. It <laughs> this is why it's so big. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. This is why. Ah, oh, why do I fuck everything up? Can we, can we get it in? <gasps> Am I gonna go over my fat ass? I can't get it all. I can't get it to my bum. Oh my lord! Well, gonna fucked up a perfectly nice pair of dungarees. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a mistake. Now. Can I? But I reckon they would fit nice if I could actually get them on. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, after that disaster, I put a zip in it so I can actually get them on. And obviously it now does fit a lot better. It's a wee bit tight on the old belly, but it fits a lot nicer on the bum. Which I don't think you can have a nice fitting bum and sort of something to hide the belly. Um, it does fit nicer, the legs definitely need to now go out a bit, but it's not, I didn't completely ruin it. It's a bit thin now, it's that tight, but there you are. Something I'll be able to get on later, maybe next year it'll be something I pick up again. Um, but yeah, definitely without the pockets. There is another pattern I just bought from Hello Workshop and it's like a play suit and all in one. So I think I'm gonna make that because I don't have to then wear a t-shirt so they don't have to think about. This pattern I think is gonna get relegated and I'll come back to it once I'm, I think maybe more confident sewer and so I can change the pattern to fit my body better. Um, but I definitely think the zip is a good idea because it just oh, definitely fits nice from the bum. The legs I do think need little, that bunch in there it means it's obviously too small. Um, but I think I managed to save it. Yeah, it is what it is.